Hey, Barbecue Warriors. Good to be back with y'all. Today we're going to be doing smoked chicken, where we can break it down, shred it, pull it. I uh, got a request for it. That's why we're doing it this morning. Football team here, our local team, the Dooley County Bobcats. Uh, we've always done meals for them on football day, on uh, the day they play. Coach this year wanted them all eating chicken, didn't want any ribs, didn't even want any pulled pork. So chicken's on the menu today along with our peach barbecue beans and our loaded baked potato salad. I didn't want to just do pieces, I wanted something that's going to be easy for them, something that's going to be quick, not as big of a mess. So we're going to make the pulled smoked chicken. Starting out, we got boneless, skinless thighs. The reason I use boneless, skinless thighs, thighs along with the legs is dark meat. That's where the blood vessels are, that's where the fat content's at. So it's gonna have more moisture, more flavor, a lot more than the breast meat's gonna have. So that's what we're using, the boneless, skinless thighs. I've already done a four hour brine with them. I did a salt sugar brine, one gallon of uh, water. I did one cup of salt, one cup of sugar. Brined them for four hours. We've taken them out, patted them dry. Now it's time to get them ready go on the smoker. We're going to be using my Bark 2400. Set on 325. Using my peach wood pellets. Now, again, we've had our brine. We're going to start out a little bit of my hot rub. And I'm laying them out flat because I want to get it inside. Got my honey money, cluck rubs, got honey powder in it. So what winds up happening is you're gonna have that sweetness along with the bite from the hot rub. Hot rubs got cayenne, black pepper, and white pepper in it. Nothing crazy. All right, flip it over. Come back with a hot. Don't trim any of the fat off of this chicken. When you take it out of the pack, other than you might have a piece of bone, cartilage or something, you leave the fat on it. It needs it, because we're gonna mix it up just like you would do pulled pork. Honey money. Go grab me two half hands. Now, we're gonna take them and roll them back up just like they would if they still had the bone in them. Now this is the only time I like to cook boneless, skinless thighs. That's when I'm gonna be making a smoke pulled chicken sandwich. It's good on salads too. See how I'm tucking them back together? Thank you. Take it back in our pan. Now we're going to cook these until they reach 190 degrees. I know dark meat chicken's done at 180, but I want them to really break down very easily, pull apart very easily, so I'm taking them to 190. Now, we've got to add a little bit of our chicken broth cook in it. Now I'm not covering it. Just want to go about halfway up the side of the chicken thighs. Just like that. Already got three full pans already on. I'm cooking right now a total of like 35 pounds of chicken thighs raw, wind up with about 30 pounds pulled, or maybe a little bit more. You're not going to have a whole lot of loss. Football players are going to eat great. Stay tuned later. I'm going to be posting pictures of the finished product. 
Y'all be safe. See you later, Warriors.